rough sim up. Couple cross checks down there in the corner, and a big hit from Zach Beauregard as he absolutely throws the body there. And Langwa again along the half wall here as it's played back to the right point for La Rochelle. That's a shot, go chance in front for Gerard, and another big stop by Brady James. It's right side to Ivan. Back behind the Mooseheads net. He had it poked off of his stick by Furlong. Stairs will pick off the pass. Chance in front. And that was steered aside by Brady James. Pressure out there. Beauregard covering for him on the back end. This Steven Davis knocking Canning to the ice. On the left side. Takes a hit there from Campbell, I believe, as Ivan in transition. He's got McDonald with him. A shot. They score. McDonald. Gets it off quick. He'll get it past Brady James and the Eagles on the board first here tonight. They lead 1-0. Eagles capitalized on a pretty solid 2-on-1 here. And McDonald finishes off on a, on a great pass from Ivan Ivan. I, I think it was a, a heck of a play for them. And, uh, you know, they haven't had a lot of open chances like that. They've had chances around the net. But you see them come down here 2-on-1. It's a great feed. It's almost a 2-on-0 at that point. Brady James kind of hung out to dry, but nice play by Ivan. Scores first goal of the game. And just the second goal of Matthew McDonald's career, his 72nd game here. He's a lot like. of offense originally, a Shawinigan cataract pick, as Crosby has it. He'll try to dish off for Beauregard to the back end. Stop! A shot in front, they score! Vincent Goche has got his first as a Moosehead as he ties it up here. What a response from the Mooseheads. What a moment for Vincent Goche here in his Scotiabank Center debut. You just said it, Garrett, the response. Any team wants to come back like that, and it was great to hear the response from the fans as well here in Scotiabank Center. And, uh, it's a nice play. They just keep the puck, and he just gets it there. And, Coach uh, referee Lange was right on the spot to call the goal, but it's a nice play by Goche. Any, any first goal is your best goal. And they're going to take a look at that. Vincent Goche knocking that one out of midair, showing some fantastic hand eye on that one. Great coordination, and I don't think there's any question about that. That should be a good goal. That stick was, Puck. that was pretty low. That was, uh, that was a great little. You look in the replay there, John Lange is right on top of the play. Uh, there's nothing resembling a high stick or anything like that. The puck was well below the net. The crossbar is your, is your measuring stick there. So I think that's what I might be looking at more than whether the puck crossed the line or not. Uh, again, great response. It's nice to see Crosby and the younger kids out there for that first goal. That's a heck of an experience for them to remember the rest of their lives. Yeah, we had a review last night on Marcus Vichek. Comes out through center. And Turn that one over to La Rochelle. Quickly head man for Gerard. And now jumping up to the play, it's Langwa on the back end. Stopped by James. That quarter, it comes back to the line. Tessier trying to keep it in, but it's knocked away. And now McDonald spotting Toronto, but shot, he scores. Connor Trenholm rips it a laser and it beats Brady James. The Cape Breton Eagles restoring their lead here late in the second period. That is goals and back-to-back -back nights for the Cold Harbor native. That's one of those shots off a of post and in that's tough. I was ready just to say that Brady James looked great on his angles tonight. I still think he has looked great on his angles. Uh, that was a tough shot. Any, any goal scorer will tell you that they're always going to score on post and in. And that shot by Connor there as he comes down the wall towards the middle is, is a great shot, low and inside. Top line out with it at the left point, down the boards for Peter, steps out, and a chance there, they score! Marcus Vinicek roofs it, he'll beat Delafontaine. And that doesn't take long at all, just eight seconds into that man advantage. Marcus Vinicek rips home his second of the season. That was a tough one for Delafontaine. Uh, Again, kind of like Connor Trenum's quick release, really high. Uh, you know, Peters stumbles with the puck here a little. Looks like he's going to get a shot. And, uh, you know, Vitacek just pounces on it and gives it a home there. So another view here we have. Comes across, gets there, and Vitacek just cheeses it. It's great. Good oh response, my. like you said, eight seconds in, too. Tie game. Now we have to hold into match. What a snipe from along the boards, breaks loose. 
He'll play it to Schultz. Schultz stepping in, a shot, bouncing, buckets, loose in front, they score! That's you, got a four, will knock it past Delafontaine and the Bushets. Had their first lead of the night on Matthew Gattaford's first career Q League goal. Uh, you know what? He was the best thing just before they scored that goal, and we heard a, a go moose go cheer. Haven't heard that in this building in a long time. Uh, and another first tonight. I think this is really, uh, really cool. This is awesome. This is fantastic right here. Matthew Gattaford, Vincent Gauthier, they've both got their first. Gattaford in front just puts it on that as that pops out. Brady James uh, appears to have got a little bit of help right there. Now picked up by Gerard. He'll slide it up the boards for Dawson Stairs along the half wall. Back for Gerard. Oh, front, they score. Sean LaRochelle steps in. He gets it off quick. And just 23 seconds into this Cape Breton power play. The new captain with his second as an eagle. All tied up at three. Sean LaRochelle with goals in back-to-back -back nights for his new team. Uh, it's a classic power play goal. Somebody's left open here. Nice pass out front. Mooseheads are really concentrated down on the other side. Uh, but again, when there's an extra player on the ice, you can't cover everybody. And, uh, you know, we'll see what 4.56 remaining here, Gareth. Got some exciting hockey coming ahead. And off the draw, or gets a shot off Delafonte to stop it and hits the post as Cataford was looking for number two. LaFrance with it at the left point. He'll throw it on net, and that's tipped just wide. Last shot as that was ripped toward the goal, and again, the flex wide chance in front, big stop by James, and that is waved off. That puck gets across the goal line, but quickly waved off as the whistle had just gone. What action here in overtime, Bill? I imagine the Eagles would want to love to see that one again, but it was a, not a quick whistle, but the puck just dribbled in after uh, Steve Zarsomsky's whistle went off. Throughout most of this overtime, Astair sneaks in on the back end, stopped by James, the puck is loose, James is down, and it's underneath him is what an opportunity Dawson Stairs had right there to try to put this one away. 19.1 seconds left in overtime, and what a huge stop from Brady James. Uh, it's nice to see uh, coaches putting some faith in McKinnon here. You know, early season game and overtime. Young lad like that on the ice, it's good to see. So, try to strategy going down the side first. And Ivan will try the same thing as he comes in down the left wing. A shot, he scores. Ivan, Ivan able to open up that five hole of James slips it low and that is the first goal of the shootout he's looking for a fan response he's got a chance right now for the moose hits. Bobby Orr a shot stopped by Delafontaine and the Cape Breton Eagles take it here tonight they spoil the home opener for the moose hits. Eagles with a 4-3 victory here on the road and what was a hard-fought contest at the Scotiabank Center. And this was a fun one here tonight, Bill. Lots of entertainment in this contest this evening. Uh, listen, like I said, just...